So if you're watching this video, you probably had some issues uh, electrical wise with maybe uh, your ABS light coming on or emergency brake light, uh, doors locking and unlocking when you hit a bump. Um, I did a little research online, found a couple of helpful videos, and uh, I went ahead and made the repair on my own vehicle. So one of the first things we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, start the vehicle and uh, see what happens here, what, what signals or what alarms I may get. Um, that come on. So everything seems to be functioning normally. I do have, um, it looks like the ABS light is staying on. Um, and, and that's just been happening recently too. Uh, check washer fluid, however, that, that's been ongoing. I think I have a bad sensor. That's not part of the issue that I've been having. Um, air conditioning is on and blowing cold. No issues right now. So let me uh, roll up the window here. Maybe you can see a little better. So I'm going to take it down the road and um, as I get to a certain section where um, I hit a pothole or something on the road that jars the, the car a little bit, um, we'll see if uh, I can duplicate those symptoms. So shortly after leaving the house, the ABS light did go off. I'm now on a side street. Um, I'm going to start heading down this road. There's a few manhole covers. We're going to try and trigger those same symptoms that uh, I was referring to by uh, maybe running over some of these manhole covers. I'm only going about 25 miles an hour. Um, see what happens here. service brake system came on. I have an alarm going off. The AC is still working though and all of the gauges appear to be working. So uh, those are the symptoms. Um, we'll see what happens um, after we replace. So uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, I went online and through a couple forums, a couple different videos, um, I was able to determine uh, that this could possi possibly be what's causing the issue. And it's this single little ground wire that's connected uh, coming out of this harness that goes to the back of the engine block. Very strange. Um, sorry for the focus on this. Um, the camera was struggling a little bit, but nevertheless, it's one wire inside of this um, casing, uh, this wire protected mold. Um, and I, I barely tugged on it just to see if it was connected and it and it broke loose. It was that corroded. So uh, essentially th that right there, I'm not sure why it goes from that harness um, and why it's related to these other items. But I'm going to go ahead and reground it over here, uh, whether that's a chassis or body ground or whatever you want to call it. So I... I Essentially, just used a small little butt connector and uh, put a new piece of uh, stranded wire on there. Uh, I believe I used 16 gauge. Um, I tucked it all back into this casing um, and then taped it, kind of sealed it shut, um, and then ran it behind where the, uh, the manifold cover would be, the plastic cover. So here, here's uh, the end result, the finished product, what it looks like. Um, it, it kind of uh, runs behind the plastic cover there um, to this Y connector, and I just uh, made sure to secure that on there real tight. Um, it, it, there's nothing behind there essentially that it could sit on that's hot that's going to you know maybe burn through the casing or, or anything like that. Um, so I did a test drive. Everything worked great, and uh, so it worked for me. Uh, hopefully uh, works out for you. Uh, good luck to you. Thanks for watching.